Hi, I'm Steve Casely from CBT Nuggets, and this micro nugget is focused on writing good user stories. User stories are the foundation for Scrum and Agile development. User stories are the main, and I will say the only vehicle that's used to communicate the business requirements to the project team. User stories are predominantly created by the project owner and other subject matter experts within the business area, but user stories can also be generated by the project team when the team has a specific technical requirement. But the focus of user stories is the communications of business requirements to the team. User stories are typically written on a three and a half by five index card. And that's assuming we're using a manual method. There are automated tools that we can use for generating user stories as well. But the key to generating good user stories is restrict the level of information that we're going to contain in our user story to what can be written on the front of a three and a half by five index card, whether or not we're using an automated tool. And the reason we want to keep our user stories brief is the user stories need to be simple. The user stories need to be a single piece of business functionality that can be clearly defined and developed with a minimal amount of effort because the focus of Scrum sprint development is each sprint is 100% self-contained and each sprint delivers production ready code. So therefore the stories must be small enough that they can be completed in a two to four week sprint. Typical format for doing a user story is as a define the type of user. I am a clerk, I am a manager, I am a cashier, I am a and then define what the business need. The business need is I need to do something. I need to check out a, a, a customer. I need to do a parts lookup. I need to do something. And so that a result happens so that we understand what the results of our piece of code is going to be. So a couple of examples of a user story. As a warehouse clerk, I need to validate inventory so that I can confirm a shipment. So the action, the code is going to go in and do a part lookup and validate inventory is on hand. And the output is a confirmation of availability. Another example, as a forklift driver, I need to know where part is stored so I can retrieve it. So again, the action is a lookup to determine the part location. And the output is a put away slip uh, communications to an RF unit on the forklift truck driver, but it's the actual slot location in the warehouse where that part needs to be put away. The key focus of the user story is the business communications. The next step is the definition of done or a more common approach is what is the acceptance criteria? I will determine that the validation of the inventory is complete when I can do a lookup on a part and find out that a part is in stock. Or, and another acceptance criteria or definition of done is I do a lookup on a part that I know is not in stock and I get confirmation that the part is not available. And finally, we define the business value, the prioritization, how urgent is this particular user story? Should this user story be completed in the next sprint? and implement it as soon as possible? Or is this of lesser value that can wait a sprint or two or a release or two? Needs to be completed eventually, but delivers lesser business value than the higher priority stories. Writing a good user story is a lot of work, but it's worth the effort working with the business to help them understand the nature and type of information that we need in the definition area the nature and type of information we need in the acceptance criteria so that we can use these stories with a minimal conversation with the product owner, with subject matter experts to go forth and deliver, to write the code, to, to complete the results of the user story. Now, I just mentioned a very key concept. User stories need to be complete, but not perfect.
the perfect or the ideal user story is a user story where the, the team member picks up the user story and reads, as a type of user, I need to do something so that a result happens and has an 85 to 90% confirmed understanding of exactly what that story needs to accomplish. Then they go have a conversation. And I'm talking a five to 10 minute conversation with the product owner or the appropriate subject matter expert to confirm their understanding and to validate to have any additional questions they have answered. And after that five to 10 minute confirmation, the story is then ready to be completed. This concludes our discussion on user stories. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you very much for viewing.